Bonjour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's it going, ladies? <laughs> I'm Erin. This is Rebecca. We are in between friends, and I am bilingual. I dig it because I took French. I was the only. Did you really? I was the only idiot in Southern California taking French. Did I sound okay when I said that? Yeah. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien? Love That's it. That's all I know. All I got's Ola beyond that. <laughs> Anyways, we are coming to you to talk more pregnancy related issues. Um, a lot of this stuff is kind of coming, stemming forth from either uh, viewer feedback or just stuff I'm going through in my own pregnancy, some hurdles that I have to get over. And speaking of hurdles, let's talk about exercise. Ooh, nice segue. I feel like I was going to like hurdle. Nice segue. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was a pretty avid athlete. Um, I worked out probably about five times a week. Um, I makes me sick. Loved it. I am just from a family who that's what we did. And so I, I thank my lucky stars that I love it as much as I do. I miss it a whole lot. So I am in a place where I find myself um, having to adhere to doctor's orders to, to not exercise. And it's a huge hurdle for me to get over. And we're talking major limited here, people. I can walk. <laughs> that's it. Um, and she's really, even out of breath doing that. Yeah, but yeah. exercise is important. We cannot lie to you about that. Yeah. And it's a, a huge, important part of most, I believe, most women's lives, most men's lives here. Okay. Whether you're avid or not avid, you yeah. do a form of exercise whether you know it or not. Yeah. Um, so we're going to talk about kind of what to anticipate that you can and can't do. Again, we're not talking specifics here because we're not your doctor. You need no. to consult with them. But we are kind of just talking about maybe what you can expect when you're pregnant in regards to your current exercise regime or your lack of regime. Yeah. My favorite was a newspaper article. I think it was probably like this, this past six months of some lady um, running a marathon and then going to labor afterwards. And I was thinking, duh, yeah. of course she's going into labor afterwards. Yeah. Kudos. Kudos. That's one way to get a baby right. out. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. So what is, it's not going to be too strenuous. Obviously, your health and whatever is going to keep you pregnant and not put that pregnancy at risk is going to be within the realm of your doctor saying this is okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go run like 13 miles? Probably not. Probably not. And I have a friend who is younger than me by nearly a decade, same, same sort of athletic um, background, avid runner. Um, and she isn't allowed to run anymore. Yeah. Now, it makes sense to me, being my age and being the kind of high risk with the multiples, that I wasn't allowed to run. But super surprising to me that she couldn't. Uh, yeah. So it really, you're going to be limited no matter what. I don't yeah. care who you are. Whether or not you can or can't do something remains to be seen. It will be limited. Though. Right. It will, it will change. And then let's talk about those of you who love your couch. I still love my couch. Oh, I, well, you love your couch after your run. I don't yeah. need to go running, and I love my couch. Yeah, awesome. I just, exercise for me is not one of those things that I must do. It's not a craving. It's not something that is in, inserted into my life as a must. Mm -hmm. Now, that explains a lot. But on top of it, when I was pregnant, I knew I had to make sure that I was still moving. Now, I was mm -hmm. still working full time when I was pregnant with the kid, and I knew I had to go on those walks. I had to do, get home, put on those shoes, and at least make it around the block yep. or around the Paseos. Yep. Had to do something that got my blood flowing. And there's so many other benefits to exercising. It's tiring you out mm -hmm. because you need that. Mm -hmm. Number two, it's keeping the blood flow going, mm -hmm. keeping your brain sharp, and it's getting those those stressors out of your body. Yep. That was my main so reason for wanting to exercise before. It was just to purge my brain. Yeah, totally. What are some alternatives that you've found? Yeah. Again, walking is a huge one, and yeah. as embarrassed as I am to say that, again, coming from a running background, Don't it's, knock em it. it's embarrassing to, for me to walk like a quarter mile and be like, great exercise for today. <laughs> but it's, sweating. it truly, truly is, especially the larger you get, it's a huge, I mean, yeah. you're using those leg muscles, and again, that stride, opening that stride up is yes. so key. Um, obviously, prenatal yoga, again, I've talked before about how lame I feel doing it, um, because it's, <laughs> it's not truly strenuous. But it is so, I mean, I'm a yoga fan anyways, yoga and Pilates fan. Yeah. Um, this is very lightweight, but oh, is it excellent for your, um, you know, just your muscles to be able to stretch yeah. and open up and allow that flexibility for birthing in the yeah. future and just for spreading currently. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I know what I'm talking about <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about. Um, as well, we talked about briefly uh, water exercise. Water is my new favorite thing, people. A, totally. because it takes this thing, this large beach ball, and it makes it feel weightless. 
I just don't so feel fantastic. the strenuous. I just don't feel the weight of it anymore. Yeah. And that's glorious. Yeah. So, and we all know just how great uh, water activity can be anyways as a form of exercise. So again, limited. Yes. You know, you're not going to do you're the, always the fly your, for, yeah. 40, for 40 minutes. No, but you can even, they even have water exercise right. classes. Yep that is particularly for pregnancy, mm -hmm. where they're keeping your heart rate down, but they're also working on that resistance. It's all about a resistance workout. So yeah. you're getting the push plus the pull, and yes, they used to teach it. Can you tell? <laughs> and so it was just really beneficial. Yeah. It does take the weight off, it helps the spine. There are a lot of good benefits to it. Yeah. So I think that's those are some great options for you to check into. A lot of those things you can do in the comfort of your own home, obviously, in water yeah. sports, maybe not in water sports. But check out your local Parks and Rec. Mm -hmm. They have Completely. many um, water exercise programs as well as your local YMCA. Mm -hmm. But make sure you're doing something. Um, it's really easy to kind of find yourself not doing anything. So make sure you're doing something. Find that happy medium. But ultimately, yeah. listen to your body and listen to your doctor. Ask this question. I really, yeah. really encourage you to ask this question. Don't assume that you know. And don't assume that you, you can continue to just kind of uh, interpret it yourself. Yeah. So we hope that you are, again, having a fabulous week, enjoying your pregnancy, doing very, very well. We'd love to have your feedback. Please check out our vlog at www.inbetweenfriends.com. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Take care.